Hello viewers, welcome back to our lecture series based on engineering economics. As we have started from what is economics, engineering economics, then we have discussed about maintenance, then we have discussed about supply, demand, factor affecting supply and demand and then we have also discussed about the different types of the cost for goods and service. Now, in this session, we will discuss about the important point which is break-even analysis with advantages and limitations and in the last segment, we have to discuss few numericals for that. So, first one is, what is break even analysis you might have a question arise that what is the object of break even analysis this is the analysis with respect to the profit with invested cost for example you have started a particular company and in that case you have invested a particular amount so as we know that at initial stage with the getting the profit you will compare with your investment so up to certain limit you are getting your money back from your selling to compare it with your in investment so at initial stage you are investing for example 10 lakhs rupees for the products are and up to selling 10 lakhs rupees, you are getting the investment value only. Then you are getting the benefits from that production unit. So you are reaching up to 50 lakhs or 1 crore or 2 crore rupees. So in that case, beyond 10 lakhs rupees, there will be in profit. So up to 10 lakhs rupees, you are getting your investment back in your production. So this point is break even point. So the main objective of break even analysis is to define the cut off production volume from where firm will make profit. So objective of break even analysis is that we have to find out cut off production from the firm will make profit from that production unit. Clear? So, this is the break even analysis, and there are some assumptions we have to consider for that analysis. First one is relationship between cost per volume, such as fixed cost variable cost, sales, etc. and the production sales, it should be in linear. Second thing, only fixed cost and variable cost are considered in analysis. No other cost we have to consider in this analysis. Next one is selling price of the product remains constant at sales level. Next one is all information related to the cost per volume, revenue are deterministic. Next is cost is affected by quantity only, not fluctuated by the market. The rate of increase in the variable cost is constant. The production and sales quantities are equal. 
So, with the particular result for the analysis of the product search to identify the break even points, we have to consider this assumptions. Next, you can see chart on your slide that it shows that this is the break even point. For example, this is your total sales line and after the particular point, after the particular point, you are getting the profit. This is your invested money level, we can say that. And after the, beyond this level, you are getting the profit from your production. And below that, you are in loss, but you are linearly increasing your sales. So, particular point with the break even point you will be on the profit margin so here you can see the total cost total sales and this is the variable cost which includes the materials labors and direct cost so this is the break even chart so for example as is selling price per unit V is variable cost per unit, FC is fixed cost per period and Q is the volume of products. So in that case the total sales revenue of the firm or any company is given by the following formula. Total sales S or R is equal to S into Q. This is the total revenue, we can say total sales. and Total cost of any production firm, we can calculate TC is equal to total variable cost plus fixed cost. It means total variable cost is V into Q and fixed cost is equal to FC. Which from that we can get the total cost. It means this is the revenue that is we will earning from that and this is the total cost that we are investing. So if we talk about the profit means the revenue minus total cost worth minus invested cost you will get the profit. If revenue or total sales will be more then total cost, so in that case you are in profit. If revenue or total sales, which is less compared to the total cost, you are in loss. This is the simple logic. Hope you are getting the break even analysis from this equation and from this notation. Now, let us discuss about advantages. First one is a simple analysis and easy to visualize. You have to calculate the total sales, you have to finding the value of the total investment cost, how you are working, how you are getting the revenue and then you can easily calculate, easily identify the break one point. Second one is focusing on profitability. Our main goal is profit from the particular products and for the particular firm. This is indicating the which from the which point you are will be in the profitable. Third one is use both algebraic and the graphical display. It is possibility with the graphical display also. So there are few limitations with the with for the break even analysis. First one is this chart only true within the actual limits. But if you talk about it does not provide the standard performance. It not considered indirect cost which may change a different level of outputs. And variable may not give the straight linear chart. And the total revenue curve Maybe due to the extra discount in order to increase the sales. So, due to the changing of the market scenario, due to the changing of the sales 
of any goods and service methods so there may be effect on the this analysis which is this will affect to the break even analysis so these are the limitation we have to consider for break even analysis now let us discuss few examples based on this so example number 1 for example a ready mix concrete company sells we can say rmc for of 8000 rupees per cubic meter the fixed cost of the company for the production 1 lakhs rupees and the variable cost associated with per cubic meter production of ready mix concrete is 3000 rupees determine the break even quantity we have to analyze this form for finding out break even point so as we have fixed cost 1 lakh rupees variable cost 3000 rupees per cubic meter selling price 8000 rupees per cubic meter and volume of production we are noting which is q so as we know total cost plus fixed cost is equal to tc v into q plus fq and v we have variable cost 3000 rupees and q we have to find out and f c fixed cost which is 1 lakh rupees so we have a particular revenue and if we talk about the revenue which is s into q means selling price 8000 rupees multiply by q it means we can compare r is equal to tc it means revenue is equal to total cost clear so r revenue is equal to 8000 multiply by q is equal to tc total cost 3000 multiply by q plus 1 lakh rupees so from this relation we can easily find out the quantity 20 cubic meter for the break even point and we can say that the break even quantity so greater than 20 meter q the firm will be come into the profitable and below this quantity the firm will be in loss so this is a simple example hope you are getting this calculation now let us take a second example a company is engaging producing certain component which is sold at unit price rupees 8 and each variable cost of producing the components of amounts rupees 4.8 rupees per unit while the fixed cost amount rupees 224000 how many units components must be provided and sold so that the company breaks even how much sales would be made if the company desire a profit rupees 60000 rupees so as for our data we have fixed cost 24000 variable cost 4.8 rupees per unit selling price 8 rupees per unit and q we are giving notation for the volume of production is equal to q so as we have already calculated tc is equal to total cost plus fixed cost is equal to v into q plus f v means variable cost 4.8 q which is which we have to find out and fc is equal to 24000 which has been given in our data and what about revenue s into q selling price to quantity 8 we have given in the data selling price and q we have to find out so for the break even points r is equal to tc cost is equal to revenue So 8 into Q is equal to 4.8 into Q plus 24,000. It means we are getting 7,500 units for this break-even point. We can say break-even quantity. So 
if the company is a uh, 60000 rupees profit so how much quantity required for that company we know that this is our reference point this is our breaking point so if firm is producing 7500 units so it means the company is moving toward the profit if company is producing less than 7500 unit it means the company will be go on loss if company is producing greater than 7500 it means the company is going toward the profit it means for in the data has been mentioned that if the company is getting 16000 rupees profit so what about the extra units company has to produce it means profit is equal to r minus tc profit 16000 rupees r means revenue 8 into q minus tc means total quantity 4.8 multiplied by q plus 24000 rupees here q is the different than break even quantity because this is the profitable quantity we have to find out the particular focusing on the for achieving the 60000 rupees profit and this is the 7500 rupees this is the break even quantity the greater than this value you are going toward the profit less than this unit you are going to loss so with this relation you are getting the particular units to achieve 60000 rupees it means here calculation shows that for 12500 units you will get 16000 rupees profit as per the data given for the particular firm hope you are getting what is break even analysis break even chart limitations advantages and numerical based on for the same Thank you